welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk about getting a video from Google Classroom and downloading it right to your iPad so you can view it for later and you can view it offline. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to Google Classroom. And I'm going to now from Google Classroom go to the classroom in which I want to choose the video that I'm going to download. And in Google Classroom, I'm going to have to click on the specific assignment for the video that I'm going to open and download. Once I have the video open, what I'm going to need to do is pause the video so I can move on to my next step. And when I pause the video, I can click in the anywhere in the video and what will happen is a pop-up icon in the upper right hand corner will show along with the title of the video and I need to click on that pop-up button in the upper right hand corner. And that's going to open up my video in a new tab in whatever web browser I use and it's going to open it up in Google Drive so you may have to log in and from here you can download it. There's a little download button in the upper right hand corner. You'll click on that download button. Google will tell you that it can't scan for viruses for the specific video you're choosing to download. That's okay because it's from the Google Classroom so it should be plenty safe. A quick note Compatible files to download on an iPad are files similar to MP4s, such as the files displayed on screen. So things like Screencastify, you're going to have to convert into MP4, and it's easy to do that. Just contact your local ed tech. Then the iPad will actually ask you if you want to download the video, and you'll click download. And from here, it won't actually do anything, except in the upper right-hand corner, there's a little download icon. And when you click on it, you can see what it's doing and now it's done. So all I need to do now is go ahead and go to files. And the files icon looks just like that. I now have the video called intro to GCSK that I can click on and watch offline. Hello everybody, welcome to the... Just to prove to you that I can view this offline, I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi. So just watch here as I turn off the Wi-Fi and then go to the video again and restart it. I'm going to be able to watch it offline, as you can see it here. I hope these directions were helpful to you. If you have any questions, please contact your ed techs.